following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Jay in Boston. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Hey, Tom. You really assemble a stable of amazing people. I mean, they all have different strengths, different areas. And yeah. Man, each one is a superstar in their own way. I've, you know, I've seen it over the years. Well, listen, man, we appreciate you being out there growling a problem with us. If you guys and ladies and tigers and tigresses weren't out there, folks, we would have zero. Yeah. Thanks. It's unique, and it's you know, and it goes back to your basic belief of an open platform, which you you know, I've heard you say that years ago. Right. And it's really bearing fruit now. I it, would it, think. It, yeah, I agree. It is. Yeah. Cooking, it's brother. Great. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go ten hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about. You bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We are focusing uh, in Florida, folks, on pushing this storm to the east, like uh, a good 100 miles, so uh, the east coast doesn't get hit either, because this storm is a monster. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you're making a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 44, NASDAQ up three, S&P's off one, gold contract up $11.90, trading at 1350 an ounce. Good old gold, folks, going after that 1377 uh, swing high. Silver, silver caught the bid also up 22 cents, $18, 13 cents an ounce. Silver wants the uh, swing high of uh, 1888. Platinum up 11, 1015. You get light, sweet, crude flat out here, $49.08. Notes and bonds, they just continue higher price, lower yield with volume behind the move. You have the 10 year right now up 14 ticks, 127.17. 30 year up a full point plus two ticks, 157.13. King dollar down 607 ticks, traded at 91.645. King dollar, folks, can't catch a bid. Down with volume, monster volume. I suspect what we're going to see here is King dollar is just going to keep making its way down to this 88 area. Pretty amazing, actually. We've been straight down since January 3rd. Euro, the euro is at 120 to the US dollar, the yen is at 108.65 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the SPY out here is trading at a price point of uh, 246.48, uh, 246.82, rather. And what you have out here is that uh, this little baby, that's interesting, it's a different type of chart. What's heck happening out here? But, I have no idea what just happened here. Wow, only two days of showing up. <laughs> uh, anyway, here, uh, the bottom line is that you get a sideways move, you got it with light volume. Uh, bottom line is that we uh, come down on Tuesday, we came down some juice, you came down with uh, 91 million. Uh, yesterday we did 57, today it's gonna be lighter than, lighter than that. Right now, we're at 41 million. The NDX 100. Uh, we take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX 100. Uh, bottom line, we had come down at 45 million. Uh, you're going sideways to slightly higher with 18 million. Gold, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, big move. Uh, and well, it's been quite a move in general. I mean, when you take a look at gold, gold uh, July 10th was at uh, 1221. We're at 1350 right now. We hit 1355. Has the volume behind the move. You've done 343,000 contracts. What's sticking out here is uh, that nice swing high. We take this continuous contract. You get the swing high that's laying out here at 377.55 um, from July of uh, 2016. Uh, it's going after it, and it's going after that baby with force. If we look at the GDX, which is the Market Vectors Gold Mining Trust, that is up there at $25.46. Uh, that also has volume behind the move. XAU, 
Philadelphia Gold and Silver Index. That's uh, trading $92.80 and 93 cents. That is making its way up to its April, I mean, its February swing high of 97.20. Gold Bugs Index, the HUI, that is up $4.39, trading at uh, 219 dollars. That's making its way up to the 222.98. Uh, it just took out the uh, 216, which was the April 2017 high. Now it's going after that February 2017 high. Big movements uh, all over the place. Notes. What do we have with the notes? Bottom line, folks, these notes, they just continue to want higher price, lower yield. Uh, what we have out here inside the note market, note market out here today, you've done 1.38 million contracts. That's great contract value, volume. We're trading at a price point of 127.17. That is bringing the 10-year note down to 2.056. That is the low for the last six months. In fact, if we take a look at this, when you see the, uh, the yearly rate, the low for the year is 1.539. The high is 2.626. Now we're on the light side when you take a look at this from highs to lows uh, when you average this out for the past year. And bottom line, folks, that thing does not want to stop. It continues to want higher price, lower yield. Uh, we go take a look at the 30-year. 30 30-year, 30 300 and, uh, let's see, USC. 30-year contract, 30-year uh, bond. There she is. Uh, up, uh, two, uh, up a full point plus uh, three ticks. 261,000 contracts. That's a, that's a monster contract volume, by the way. Uh, now, both of those folks are going after the highs of November. In November, uh, bottom line, this is where they got smoked on the way down. They went from a price point of 164.31. So there's 32 ticks in a bond. Went from 164.31 to 155 nonstop. Right now, we're at 158.21, almost at 159. Doesn't have far to go to get up to that 164.31. And that's where that baby looks like it's heading to. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? Just can't catch a bid. Uh, King Dollar out here today, big volume. Uh, what you have out here, you've, you know, it wanted to test the lows of last week anyway, because the lows of last week had volume. Lows of last week, we had 51,000 contracts. We hit 51,550. Guess what, folks? We blew by that. With price, with volume. We've done 56,000 contracts thus far. You're at 91,642. If you take a look at King Dollar, what you now have is that you have broke the consolidation that this has been in going back to, let's see how far we're going to go back here. You started the consolidation in February of 2015. And, you know, the bottom of this consolidation is like 93,115. 92, 91.50, you've, what, what's happened now is this. Last week we got underneath it and it came back halfway. Now we're, 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 we're getting away from it right now. And once you get away from it, what you're gonna see out here is that um, you get away from this consolidation, the next place that it can even try to get any support are the highs from 2008 and the highs of 2010. You stay right there, folks. We're gonna come back with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Dow Industrials right now down 43, NASDAQ is up 5, S&P's are flat, we're going to break back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are down 45. You have the NASDAQ up six. S&Ps are off a buck and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show right here at TFNN every Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Get it right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some uh, great HD quality video. Uh, and as you come over to TFNN, we have a great promotion. Andy has a great promotion for you. Uh, bottom line, as you are on the front page of TFNN, what you're going to see there is gain free access to lesson one of Andy's 12 essential lessons for trading commodities. What is this all about? Well, let's bring it up. Andy had given this course, folks. The course had a value of $595. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you can, the daily essentials, you can get daily essentials for 30 days. That comes back with, with it's $97 a month. It does have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you like it, great. You keep it. If you don't like it, you get the money back. Uh, along with that, uh, Andy set up a, a, a great education workshop here and the workshop goes like this uh, each month you're going to get a, a, a workshop part of this 12 essential courses uh, the first one in September is commodity markets and demographics October is the market breakdown physical versus derivatives November is going to be the overview of market structure which is crucial Andy talks a lot about that in December you're going to talk about backwardation and contango January, term structure, February, processing spreads, March, location spreads, April, intercommodity spreads, May, quality spreads, June, technical indicators, July, option data, and on August, ETF and ETN products. I can't believe we're already out to August. You gotta love it, man. Uh, so, a couple different ways you can get this. You can go over, get daily essentials. As I said, that's $97 a month. What you can also do, Andy has the Technomento Commodity Report. Um, you can just go test drive that. You'll have the same deal. And of course, all Andy subscribers, this is already on your page. If you happen to be in your car right now, you're coming home, you're going to get a nice surprise. It's sitting around your page right there. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, how are you, my brother? Doing great, man. Yourself? 
I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Are you ready? Are you uh, batting I'm ready. down the hatches? We're buttoned. I have. We've been working for two days here, man. I'm between, sure you are. I'm sure you are. Plywood, for you guys. between generators, and we got it all. And I'm hoping I don't have to use any of it. You know you're welcome. You know you're welcome to cut, get out of Dodge and come here anytime. Well, they the 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 way to, to that would be the way to do it, folks. If you the, the way this storm is. You know, I've watched a lot of people that are leaving here, and unfortunately, if you're leaving Florida, you better make sure that you are going to be driving about 35 hours because right. what you'd have to do is go up the top of the panhandle, then take a left and go at least 12 hours left because yes. Yes. <laughs> if you don't, that thing is, you know, coming up. So Well, I spent for the last two days, you know, my parents, uh, my, my dad is... Uh, pushing 88. Yes. My mom is 86. And they were here uh, with us for a couple of weeks. Um, and they went back. They live in Delray Beach. Oh, yeah. And I had been on the phone begging them to come back. Right. But uh, to no avail. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, well, they're in a very safe place. I mean, they're in a an assisted living uh, place. Yes. That, that's far away from uh, the ocean. But that's uh, good. I am I am concerned. I yeah, you, you got to be, because I know that area. I lived in Boca for 15 years, and that is a low-lying area. There's no right. doubt. They live, they live on the other side of uh, 95, okay. which, is, which is good. Yeah. I mean, you know, right. that be, is, that, yeah. I know Steve Rhodes lives uh, out near A1A. Yeah, he, he's, he's going to be getting out of there. Oh, well, he, I he's don't just think waiting he's for the traffic choice. to come down. He's got to yeah. get out of there. Very, yeah. very frightening. It really yeah. is. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that it misses. But, uh, you know, I was looking at some of the damage for, um, on some of these islands. Oof, it looks really nasty. It's a big one. And you know, there's, there's the, there still is time, folks. That that thing can turn. All it really yes. has to turn is about another 50 miles east. And, right. You know, it, the other coast will go get a lot of. The, the water damage is going to be big, period, no matter what happens. Yes. And uh, when yeah. it rains, it pours. It looks like you have Jose right on its tail. Yeah. Well, Oof, we're lucky on this coast. Well, I don't know if we're lucky yet on this coast. They, they Just before I got on, they just did, um, we have a lot of different levels. And thank God where we are, actually where I live, is the highest point in Pinellas County, one of the highest points, which is pretty cool. Um, but they just did a manu uh, mandatory evacuation in level A. And level A is, you know, along low-lying areas, so. Yeah, I see they even canceled the NFL game. Well, look, this is, uh, yeah. an un you know, it's a big, it's a big storm. It's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be praying for you. That, there's no doubt about it. Uh, commodities markets, Tom, what can I say? Today, it's all about the greenback. Which, uh, as we had discussed, you know, that dollar, man, that thing can't bounce. It, it, it can't even dead cat bounce. I know, man. It's just I crazy. Mean, unbelievable. You know, we went right through the recent lows this morning. We closed below 91.88 on a technical basis. This thing looks like, you know, 80 handle is coming. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's really and and that is so supportive. You got gold at thirteen fifty. This thing looks like it's going to go through the two thousand sixteen high soon. Uh, and silver, as I mentioned, I still think Tom, this is a tight, tightly wound coil. Uh, and silver has not given us the one one and a half dollar up day uh, yet. That it but, can, yeah, right. It, it, oh, it can. It, it it you know, it tends to come out of the blue. You know, it tends to it get does. everyone complacent and whatever, and all of a sudden you come in there and you see 1950 on the screen or 1970, right. and, you know, and that's when most people pour into the market. But um, I, I think now, I think silver is uh, a, a good a good buy right here. I really do. I think, you know, it's going to work its way up to 1887 and a half, and maybe we get the explosion when it goes through there on a technical basis. I, you know, I agree, man. I mean, the... the what you have, folks, it's not that, you know, we've been doing this a long period of time, and, you know, I've been a bear on the dollar a long period of time, but I can tell you, it's very unusual when you can't get at least a bounce going. I mean, it's like, you know, you got to be No, no, this has been, you know, this has been one-way traffic since January. Yeah. And, hey, what did we get the last bounce? We went down to below, uh, we went down to 91. It was like in March sometime. You got, you, you got, you got a got small to, one in March. Yeah. Yeah, we got up to 93, you know, after we made this low. And and the thing just, it's like there's sellers above just waiting to crush it. Yeah. Oh. So, 
This, you know, that, that doesn't bode well. You're going to have to have a blow-off low on the dollar to actually get a recovery going, I think. No, I agree, because what you can see today, folks, so watch this. I'll bring this up. You're going to be able to see how many folks basically got long on that low of last week, and as soon as it got underneath it here, watch this. I'll show you intraday today, and you're going to see this thing, how it just spiked. Oh, ugly. Yeah, so, I mean, look at this. Look at, look at it. It, it. Once it got underneath that, it, it spiked big. It spiked with uh, 7,800 contracts and then 27,000 contracts. And then. And just, uh, just, and, just, and just multiply that by about 10,000, uh, you know, for what's going on in the foreign currency markets, which oh, are big time. Big enormous time. compared to yeah. these futures contracts. Big time. You stay yeah. right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 59. NASDAQ is up one. S&Ps are uh, down three. We're going to be talking about uh, this great course that Andy has up, folks. Uh, you can test drive uh, any of his newsletters. Take advantage of this course. We'll be right back, folks. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts, as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new market-safe emerging currency CD from EverBank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down 57. We get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are off three and a half. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Hecht. We are talking the markets. And uh, Andy, let's, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about, uh, so, we're going to be doing the 12 essential lessons for trading commodities uh, with your newsletters. So talk to me a little bit about, you know, how this whole course is set up. You know, Tom, uh, I'm, 
really wanted to talk about this a little bit because this is such an incredible course that I did about a year and a half or two years ago here on TFNN. Yes. And it's 12 sessions, and each session is about an hour long. Okay, cool. And what I do is I go through from soup to nuts all of the things that I've learned like if, over since 1978 when I started in these commodity wow. markets, almost 40 years. It's amazing. Uh, and how I break down and I analyze um, um, different commodity prices uh, from from the, the market structure. And I go through each of the, the different types of market structure, whether yes. it's processing spreads, quality spreads, location spreads, term structure. All of these types of things, how I look at technicals, you know, I'm I'm very much a fundamentalist. Right. And and I believe that supply and demand, particularly in commodities, drives the um, uh, 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 price, the, the path of least resistance, higher or lower for price. But I also am, am a technical trader in that I use those technicals to tell me when the uh, masses are buying, when the masses are selling, where the best places to get in, the best places to get out. And what I did in this course is I made it very evergreen. It's, it's, it's very much kind of applicable to, to all of the markets that I look at and sure. all of the ETFs that trade on commodities. So, you know, each month a subscriber to either my, my Daily Essential Equities, which is a, a great short newsletter that I put out each day that has trading recommendations in it uh, on a periodic basis, or my weekly Technomental Commodity Report, which, which I know you've seen. It, it's over 40 pages. I work very hard on Wednesdays to come up with an up, down, or sideways call in all of the commodities, 30 of them each week. And I even offer uh, 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 views in terms of the foreign exchange markets, the stock markets, and all of the markets out there. But it's a great complement to these services, and yes. it's, a great, it's a great educational course. It so is. I really urge everyone, and, and it's a great value, because you're getting it for free with the newsletter, you know, with the subscription sure. to the newsletters, and we charge like uh, 500 bucks for the course. Right. So, um, Great value. No, great value no doubt. Out there. Now, you know what's intriguing here, too? This is a great day to talk about this, you know, because in Florida, folks, what is happening is that, uh, like, we had the natural gas numbers come out this morning. Right. And what happens in Florida, folks, is that, let's see what natural gas is. Natural gas right now is down one tenth, uh, well, no, six tenths of one percent. Yeah, well, 298. You know, you'd think that you get hurricanes that, you know, uh, are coming into Florida, very, you know, you, we get a lot of natural gas up in the Gulf. You think that, you know, things could spike. Well, what happens, folks, is that all the power plants are on natural gas. And so I, I heard the statistic on the way in, Andy. It's insane. They had, they had a, uh, on Bloomberg, they had a natural gas analyst on, and he was talking about Florida and the, the power plants, right? He says that there's so many people that are leaving Florida that they figure that 30 to 35 percent less gas is going to be used right. in all the power exactly. plants. Exactly. Demand's going to go down in the short term. Right. But if this storm hits any infrastructure on oh, yeah. the Louisiana coast, right. watch out. Right. Natural gas today is very interesting. It's fighting bullish and bearish factors. Yeah. What you mentioned is bearish for the price. Uh, however... You know, the storm is very bullish. The other thing that was kind of bearish today is we had a 65 BCF injection, which is the biggest injection in quite some time, probably because of lower usage uh, in Louisiana and uh, in the in the wake of uh, Hurricane Harvey in yeah. Texas. So, you know, right now, I still like natural gas very much because in Injections have been trickling into uh, inventories this year. And I think, you know, we get a cold winter this year. We could see four or five, maybe even six bucks on natural gas. So it's a good time to put it on your radar, uh, maybe to buy a little on, on price weakness. But, um, hey, right now, the next week, uh, only only Mother Nature knows which direction it's oh, going in. There's no doubt, because what, what you have here, folks, is that... I couldn't imagine being on the other coast like as Steve is right now. You yeah, get really worried. Folks, yeah, um, uh, that's, that's everything a is kind of like in limbo around here, folks. If you go outside, um, you know the schools have been closed. Uh, they start. They closed today, uh, so the traffic's nil. And Steve was right. Supermarkets are empty. The the gas lines are enormous. Well, you know what's happening. This is what will end up happening. Steve was talking about this. So what happens, folks, is that they started so early that, yes, the, the traffic getting out of here was, was large this morning. But as Steve had said, well, he doesn't expect a lot of traffic in the next couple of days. And then, see, he's been in hurricanes, I've been in hurricanes, and that's exactly what happens. So you really want to wait a bit 
And of course, give yourself a good 48 hours before you, but by then, everyone's gone, so then you can shoot, you can shoot right through everything. So it's kind of interesting, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, the question is, where do you go? You know, going up the East Coast, if you're on the East Coast, oh, going yeah, up yeah. 95 is dangerous, no, man. Yeah, you get, you're gonna be driving, as I said, uh, a good yeah. 36 hours. You gotta drive straight up, and then you gotta go west. <laughs> right, exactly. You know. Come to me. My yeah. house is open. Anyway, uh, other commodities that are going to be affected by the storm, certainly a frozen concentrated orange juice futures, cotton futures. You know, South Carolina, big cotton growing crop. We saw what happened in Harvey when just a little bit of cotton was, was destroyed in Harvey. In South Carolina, you're talking about a lot of cotton. So if there's big floodings in South Carolina, you okay. could see 80 cents very quickly in the cotton market. Frozen concentrated orange juice, man, that market's a trip. We went from uh, under 130 to over 150 here. And you know what? If the groves are hurt, you know, the sky's the limit in that futures contract. And uh, all of them are going to be affected, certainly. You know, we're going to see a lot of uh, distortions. We've seen distortions in the oil market. And even after the uh, EIA and API reported big inventory increases this week in oil, still sitting at 49 bucks because the gasoline and the heating oil has gone down. Yeah, uh, and the, that, the you can, you can see that thing wants to hit 50. And it's, you know, the way the dollars got destroyed, you think it would already be at 50. I mean, you but, know, Tom, I think it's going to 55. Okay. I think it extended on the downside. Yeah. We went down to 42.05, and I think now we're going to extend on the upside. Now, I wouldn't get too excited. You know, some analysts will start talking about 60, 70 dollar crude oil. I don't see that. I think 50 bucks is a sweet spot. Yeah. I've been saying that all year long, but I think that it's now ready for an extension. And the term structure has tightened. And those of you who read, you know, who get my course will learn a lot about term structure. Term structure is tightened in crude oil, which is a bullish signal. The processing spreads are very high now in crude oil, over $20 on both the gasoline and the heating oil. And particularly in gasoline, it's important, Tom, because, we're kind of, you know, the driving season is over. So, so we are very high. There's a lot of supportive factors, not the least of which is the dollar for yeah. crude oil. And $55, the high for the year, $55.24. When, when we could go and put up a marginal new high in crude oil, uh, given, given the way this market is kind of set right now. Yeah, no, I, I, can, I can definitely see that. Uh, and, you know, we're going to take a quick break, folks. We're going to be coming right back. And, you know, Andy, when we come back, we, I'd love you just to go over the term structure in oil so you can give them an idea of what that is all about. Is sure. That, I'll put up a chart on the break. Yeah, that'd be a beautiful thing, uh, man. Be, yeah, we got to talk about that. No yeah, question. Yeah, totally. You stay okay. right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 43. You get NASDAQ up uh, two. S&Ps are off uh, two and a half. Gold contract catching another bid. Now you got, you're up 14 bucks. Silver's catching more. That's up 27 cents. Platinum's up 12, and the dollar just took that another 100 ticks on the way down. It's at 91.530. Stay right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. 
These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking uh, commodities. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right on the front page, folks. Uh, bottom line is that our uh, man, Mr. Andy Heck, uh, he has a nice promotion out here for you, and what it is is that you can gain free access uh, to his trading course, the Essential Lessons for Trading Commodities. This is a 12-part course, folks. Come over to uh, TFNN. You can test drive either one of his newsletters right now, and you're going to get this absolutely free. And we are going to go over term structure right now inside the oil market with Andy, so we can uh, explain just exactly what term structure is. Exactly. So term structure, uh, and, and it, there's three terms, term structure, the forward curve, and calendar spreads. Okay. It's all the same thing, all right? Yeah. So before we go into that, we have to define two terms. One is backwardation, one is contango. Backwardation is a con condition where the future prices are lower than nearby prices. Okay. And contango is a condition where the future prices the deferred prices are higher than nearby prices. Now, backwardation tends to, 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 to occur in markets where there's a shortage of supply. Okay. And can tango either can, uh, in, in a, a market that's normal at equilibrium or where there's a surplus, all right? Yes. So the oil market, we know there's a surplus been a surplus for a long time because of all the shale production. But the moves between the different months that trade on the uh, uh, NYMEX futures or on the Brent futures tells us a lot about supply and demand. And what we've seen lately, if, if you, I put up a chart here okay. uh, of the price of December 2018 NYMEX crude oil futures minus the price of December 2017 crude oil futures because okay. the December series is a very liquid series yes. uh, of, of crude oil. So we can see here that over recent sessions, we've come down from a $1.65 contango or forward premium for one year crude oil out to 2018, December 2018. We've come down to under a dollar. And that means that there's some tightness in the market. I see. Now, the Brent spreads, which I can't put up here because I don't have Brent on my CQG. Okay. But if you looked at Brent spreads, they're even tighter. The contango is even smaller. And we've come down dramatically. I mean, from July 10th, this thing was at $2.27. I see. And we've come down. We've more than half. So that's a signal. That's that's kind of a, a bullish signal. Now, I don't trade, I don't get bullish or bearish just on one factor. Yes. It's like a big craw it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. Right. Tom. No, no, I'm with and, you, right. And 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 term structure is one important piece. And sometimes term structure switches before the price actually moves. And you know we saw when we saw that? We saw that back in June 2014 when crude oil was $107. Yeah. And it was in a backwardation, and all of a sudden, it started going to a contango. 
And that was a bearish sign. And the oil price dropped, as we know, from 107 in June 2014 all the way down to 2605 in February 2016. And the contango, man, that got huge. And that was supportive of lower prices. Right now, Pretty we're cool. still in a contango, okay. but the contango has come down. And that's one piece of the jigsaw puzzle that's telling me that, hey, crude oil looks, uh, the downside's kind of limited here. If I add the other pieces, like, like the crack spreads yeah. and some of the technicals, well, that all adds up to the reason why I say I, I think we could see 55 bucks on crude. And so, folks, you can test drive uh, either one of his newsletters which is the Technometric Commodity Report, which is once a week, or the Daily Essentials, which is each and every day. Uh, you're going to get the whole course, uh, one lesson per month. Pretty cool. So check it out the front page of TFN. I, I also, I also want to point out that, that you know, these, this is not just for crude oil. The, this analysis is really for any raw material market. Yes. It, you know, for silver, for gold, right. for, for all of the grains, for the soft commodities, for, for all of these. And there's a lot of lessons in there that are pretty good for stocks and bonds as well. Yeah, no, the cool thing is, is that you, it's, you understand the theory, folks. That's the thing which I, that's why I wanted to go over, because I, I love the theories are more important because then you can analyze any market. Because that's, that's, exactly. that's, a, it's, that's how they work. That's the bottom you know, line. You know, I learned a lot from Andy Hall, who was one of the greatest yes. crude traders of all time. Yes. And he used to call all of this stuff, he called it the calculus of trading. Okay. He said, cool. you know, when you, when you solve a, 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 an equation in calculus, right. there are many different variables. Right. It, it, and, and again, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And looking at all these variables leads you to the best estimate of where price direction might go. Look, no one has a crystal ball. That's right. No, could, it's a probability first, business. That's right. Right. It's no a doubt. probability business. But you know what? 60, 70 percent of the time, you know, the probability, the guesstimate is pretty good. And it all depends on execution then, where yes. to get in and where to get out and discipline. And and how much and risk reward and that's all in the course too. You know how much to risk and how much to reward. How much reward you're looking for and and reward always has to be a function of risk. Yes, there's no doubt about and, that. And the other thing, the other lesson that I learned, no matter what position you have, uh, if you're long, if you're short, you're always long or short at the market. You constantly have to make decisions based on where the market is at a time. You know, a lot of people make the mistake, they buy something, they get it right, it runs up a lot, and they look at it like, oh, I got a big cushion and I don't have to look at it anymore. No, that's the wrong way to look at it. That's you must sure. look at these markets at, at the current price and decide whether you want to stick with your position or not. And and that's the discipline of trading. Yeah, it certainly is. You know, uh, and as we're talking here, so let's just, I want to go over this gold market again because. Yeah, it's I, going. I see it. Well, you know what I think's going on, too? And some, one of the, Mike in the den, it says, so unlimited debt, blank paycheck. Well, what's happening here, folks? This is going to be pretty yeah. wild if this was about the dollar. So let me see where this, uh, it, it has to do with the meeting that Trump had with the Republicans and Democrats about getting rid of the debt ceiling, period. Yeah. And I, you <laughs> so know, if they get rid of the been... debt ceiling, folks, okay, then. Inflation will go to the moon because the <laughs> and gold will go to the moon too, man. Because they'll just they'll just spend. They'll just like and Bitcoin and and the re everything. Will, yeah, that, that's... and all of these things because you know, hey, this is highly inflationary talk. By the way, I think that uh, the president is um, realized that he can't get his legislative initiative through with the Republicans. So now he's turning to his old friend Chuck Schumer, who who he gave a lot of money to over the years in New York. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's going to try the other side of the aisle here. Yeah, he's going to flip him out. No, I know. Uh, believe me. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, he's flipping back and forth. I mean, this is yeah. uh, this is a a really important watershed event here. So we'll we'll see we'll see what happens here. But the Republicans in 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 Congress can't be too happy with uh oh, no, no, no. With, this, with this deal he did. You know, if, if, if you're a metal person, folks, Trump is your best friend. I, that's That's been my take from the beginning anyway. But this been. whole debt ceiling thing, but a if, big rally, right? if they really if they really get rid of the debt ceiling in, in general, oh, my God, you better buy every hard asset you can get your hands on, folks. <laughs> yes. And, and platinum, Tom, trading 1020. This thing goes through 1050, Tom. Watch out. And open interest has been building with platinum. Oh, good. I'm uh, ready for it. Oh, time. Platinum is the one. You know, it's been the dog. And you know every dog has its day. Yeah.
It's, it's, Platinum it's. will have its day. No I, question. I got it. Well, listen, man, Andy, we appreciate the great education. We look forward to the show. Andy's going to be on, folks, in another hour and 10 minutes right here at TFNN. Come over to the, the website, Test Drivers Newsletter. You're going to see that course. Of course, the call is Be safe course. out it's, there, Tom. Be safe this weekend. Yes, thanks, man. Okay, have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to the show in uh, 60 minutes, Andy. Thanks. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with the closing numbers for you. Dow right now, uh, down 28. Nasdaq up five. S&P's down a buck and a half. We're going to right back. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's tfnn.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 29. Nasdaq is flat. S&Ps are off one and a half. So you, what you have out here, you get a sideways market, folks. Uh, Volume-wise, uh, we're going to do maybe about uh, 750, 800 million on the NYSE. On the Nasdaq composite, uh, this is interesting. The, the, the composite is going to do some volume. That composite, uh, well, yeah, we're going to do like 1.9 maybe. Uh, if we take a look at the SPY, uh, SPY uh, has done 47 uh, million, now that's going into 91, so that's anemic volume. The Qs uh, have done 20 million, that's going into uh, 45. Um, you know, you're going to come into uh, the last Friday, um, basically, of the summer. Uh, you, know, you know, after Labor Day, summer's actually over, but uh, the, I don't expect tomorrow is going to be a, a busy day at all. Uh, gold contract, bottom line, it, it wants that higher price. Uh, uh, King dollar, just the opposite. King dollar, um, you know, it, it's intriguing here now, folks. Okay, I've always been wondering, like, what is selling King dollar down? Well, guess what? We just got a, we just got a little taste of what would be selling King dollar down from 
the news that uh, they're even playing with the idea uh, that they would just get rid of that law totally, that there is such a thing as a debt ceiling, okay? Because if they don't have a debt ceiling, if the politicians don't have a debt ceiling, folks, just watch out. The ironic part about that uh, is that, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to go from uh, supposedly, you know, having <laughs> been conservative to like just blowing our brains out and writing checks. Well, that's what it looks like. And that's, that's how the dollar has been trading, too, by the way. So I can't wait to read this uh, at this break and see exactly uh, what they're actually saying. But when I just read the first initial responses, what they're saying specifically is that why don't we just get rid of that law, period. You know, and uh, I suspect uh, that they'll probably get the votes. If, he's, if he wants to sign it, they'll probably get the votes. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with some numbers for you. Dow Industrials down 29. NASDAQ are up four. S&P's off a buck. We're going to be right back, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all all the time and to not only you but some of the others sure. to you know get an idea where the fish might be biting as far as your services they're a bargain when you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred and you can get access and ask questions forever you know it's a great deal no, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. now Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And please, everyone, start thinking about pushing that storm uh, east by a couple, well, listen, the people in Miami will take 20 miles, folks, uh, as much as you can push it east, because uh, right now uh, that storm is barreling into Miami for a direct hit. So it's pretty intense. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is to be like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 22. NASDAQ is up 4. S&P's a flat. Gold contract up $14.20, trading at 12 53 an ounce. Gold contract, folks, moves with price, moves with volume. We had the volume out here, 352,000 contracts today, finishing just a, well, you're finishing at the highs, 13 uh, 54. Silver, same type of setup in silver. Silver uh, went with force, up 1.5%. You're up 27 cents. Uh, 
Silver was trading at $18.18. You did 87,000 contracts. That's huge contract volume, by the way, uh, inside the silver market, folks. Silver is making its way up to the April swing point. That uh, swing point, we're talking uh, the price point right now of uh, $18.87. And uh, let me tell you something, silver can get there in about a heartbeat. The note market, the note and bond market, folks, same setup, meaning higher price, lower yield, volume behind the move, all of the above. Inside the 10-year note, we went up 16 ticks. We've done 1.4 million contracts. That's big contract volume, folks. 30-year, same type of setup inside the 30-year, meaning you got the higher price, you had the price spread, you had the volume, you had all of it. 30-year uh, up one full point plus eight ticks, 157.19. So big numbers out here. Big, big numbers. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? So king dollar, folks, goes south, has price spread, has volume also. King dollar right now um, down 702 ticks. You're at 91.315. Now, the ABC structure down with, with the price projection, it's 91.019. Um, I suspect, number one, you're going to get there. Uh, what it actually looks like is that good old king dollar, um, it really has broken its consolidation that it started in January of 2015. Uh, king dollar now, the next place that it has uh, any type of support happens to be the highs of 2008 as well as 2010. Um, you know, so bottom line there, what you have happening is that good old king dollar, you know, not only wants to get lower, uh, but it looks like it wants to get a lot lower, you know, and what I've been, I've been talking about for quite a while, the aspect of, okay, what is it that's pushing, uh, king dollar down and, you know, as I say, you know, we're going to find out now. This afternoon, what you had, folks, is this. This is this come out of this. This seemed to come out of nowhere. Uh, you had coming across. Here, let me give you a couple of quotes because this is pretty intense. Uh, so, President Donald Trump said Thursday there were a lot of good reasons to get rid of the U.S. debt ceiling as the Senate Democrats began exploring a possible deal with the president to end the reoccurring fiscal standoff. This would be insane, folks, if they do this, by the way, okay? If you happen to be in the metal market, which we are, that, yeah, you, you'll do great because that could send metals to the moon and it's going to send the dollar to hell in a handbag. Um, so here's the quote. For many years, people have been talking about getting rid of the debt ceiling altogether, Trump told reporters Thursday afternoon at the White House. There are a lot of good reasons to do that, so certainly that's something that we're going to be, dis that we discussed. We even discussed it at a meeting we had yesterday. Senate Minority Leader Chick Sh Chuck Schumer and Trump agreed during an Oval Office meeting Wednesday to pursue a negotiation aimed at permanently ending the brinkmanship over the possible default of the nation's debt according to a person familiar with the discussions. Schumer uh, broached the idea with Trump and Vice President Mike Pence in a meeting with House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Republican congressional leaders, where Trump sided with the Democrats on a deal to combine short-term debt limit extension with the hurricane relief bill. Um, now, watch this, folks. This is the thing that's really bizarre about this. Okay, so... Um, the Senate voted uh, on Thursday, passed the legislation pass package that includes suspension of the debt ceiling through December 8th uh, and asked Congress to act by September 29th to avoid uh, more damage. Okay, so should they abolish congressional approval? Uh, they, okay, so here's, no, here's a quote. They should abolish congressional approval for the debt ceiling, said John Chambers, former chairman of the S&P Sovereign Rating Committee, who was there when the firm downgraded the U.S. debt during the 2011 debt limit fight. He said that when Congress passes spending bills that will require additional debt, lawmakers should simultaneously vote for a higher amount of debt outstanding. Eliminating the debt limit altogether would be very difficult for the Republicans to follow, particularly the House Republicans. Uh, Republican Bill Flores of Texas called it a horrible idea. So, so check this out. I'm going to go back to this, this right here. The former head of the, the Standard & Poor's, yeah, he'd, he'd like to see it, evidently. The thing that's insane about this, folks, it, is, it would be a blank check, okay? And guess what? You don't give a blank check to politicians. I don't care what, you know, Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Independents, it doesn't matter, okay? You give them a blank check, 
uh, and we will see spending go through the moon. Uh, and we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, hey, crazy things have happened. And yeah, um, if they don't have a debt ceiling, that dollar, that could be one of the main reasons that the dollar is going downtown. Because thus far, I haven't seen anything fundamentally, uh, you know, that why, you know, since January 3rd, this thing has gone one way. You know, you're talking about 103, 530. We're at 91, 505. And looks, and we haven't caught a bid. So the last time, we haven't caught a bid since, uh, let's see, April 14th, the week of April 14th. You know, when we first come down, your first leg down took you from 103 to 99. That was in February. But then you bounced from 99. You got back up to 101, almost 102. You come back down again to 98. You got back up to 101, and then it never looked back. And that, folks, we'll see. Unlimited spending? Oh, my God. You might as well go be a congressman because you think they got it made right now? Oh, they're really going to have it made. You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's going to be coming up next with us. We're going to be growling and prowling. Basil's going to walk us through these markets. Dow Industrials down 22. NASDAQ up four. S&P's flat. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. 
Welcome back, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials uh, finish down 22. NASDAQ was up four. S&Ps were flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the second hour. Now, don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show right here at TFNN. Every trading day, noon to 1 Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, don't forget, you can get all the programming at TFNN right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV, you're going to get some great HD quality video each and every day. Now, as you're over at TFNN, you can test drive Basil's newsletter. It's the opening call. The way you do that, you go to TFNN, you go to newsletters, you go to trading newsletters, test drive the opening call, 30 days, absolutely free. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, I'm good, and I hope you're going to be safe there. Yeah, this is it's not good. It's 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 yeah. particularly uh, we might miss the bullet, but the East Coast is uh, in there. They right now, folks. Miami is a direct hit, so it's and still. It, and it sounds like it's going to be one of the uh, one of the worst that they've had it's on the, land. It's the biggest um, one that's ever been recorded so far in the Atlantic, right? Wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so, it's insane. Let's just hope there's, uh, let's hope there's more, more uh, physical damage and less human damage. That's the most important thing. Yeah, and Miami's not already underwater, folks. If you have never been to Miami, uh, you know, if you want to see how Miami, Miami's already underwater. My, it just has to rain and I have a full, full moon and my uh, parts of Miami right underwater are streets, you know. It's, it's, it's like Venice. Yeah, it's it yeah. you know it comes in. It's about eight inches to twelve inches, but you'd be surprised what eight inches of water in the streets oh, look I, like. It's oh, pretty strange. Yeah. So market-wise, what are we going to look at today, Basil? <laughs> so what we're looking at here is the usual look at the Dow. We've got the Dow daily, we've got the Dow weekly, and the Dow monthly. Made a top in the Dow at twenty-two thousand one seventy-nine on the eighth of August. Went down as far as twenty-one thousand six hundred on the twenty-first of August. And it's really used time rather than price. And I consider that time is, is as important an ingredient in the stock market as price is. Because sometimes you can usurp a lot of energy, but you're merely going sideways to build up energy for a move to the upside. So I'm making it very clear for subscribers. If we, we actually have a small short position in the Dow, but really the weekly chart has held the nine period moving average with one more day to go before the end of the week. That nine period moving average is held, and that is right in the weekly chart at about 21,755. So for me, it's very clear. If there is a close below 21,600, especially on the weekly chart, you can see that the, the MACD, these lines over here, this is the moving average convergence divergence. It's been very negative. But price is really the arbiter of a trend, and if it keeps holding and going high, you've got to consider that that's the, the direction. But when you see the stochastic also very weak, it's not going to take much to pull it back down. But I'm talking about 21, th close below 21,600 would be important. Okay. And on the upside, on the upside, all you need is a, a close above 22,055. And I think you could retest the highs. I'm not sure that we're going to do that, but this is what's so fascinating. So look, the, the Dow Daily shows you we've had a time consolidation with some price. You've got uh, 800 points from the top to the bottom. The weekly chart says, hey, just sideways, what's the big deal? Well, it's the monthly chart that's so important because so far in September, we haven't made a new high. And I'm making it very clear that in the monthly chart, based on this doji candle, this little plus sign look of the candle of last month. Okay. If there is a close above 22,179, I have to consider that that's recycled high and we're going to go higher now rather than later. And if there is a close in the monthly, that means the whole of September, at the end of September, you close below uh, 21,600. That should suggest that we're going to continue uh, consolidating a little longer. But this is a fascinating thing. When you look at the Dow and then you look at the QQQ, which is the NDX 100, the NDX 100 made a new all-time high earlier this week. It went to 146.59. It only squeaked there because the last high was 145.96. This is the QQQ power shares. Now, what's really important about this is so far there's been a high-level consolidation, and the week is still looks quite good. So what I've done for subscribers to my opening call is we've got small stocks, and I should call them lower-priced stocks, that have done very nicely. 
Um, in fact, we added one today, which was up about almost 2%, and the general market really didn't go anywhere. So I'm trying to identify for subscribers stocks that are in what I call niche areas. For instance, we have um, the DBC, which is the uh, DB Commodity Index Tracking Fund. I didn't like it earlier, but once crude oil seemed to have made some kind of, um, I call it at least a short-term low, that became important because it has a greater weighting uh, uh, on percentage terms. It's a mix of all the commodities, but the weighting is actually skewed quite high to oil and crude oil. I see. Uh, to crude, I'm sorry, crude oil and heating oil. So I thought this is also the season. So we, we, we've gone in at about 14.82. It's trading at 15.29. But it's actually acting quite well. And if you look at the weekly chart, this is nice. A peak A, peak B, peak C, and it should possibly go to a D. What's important is that the monthly chart didn't look good. This past week has really helped it to strengthen. So we've got we're in all different areas. We we still have that General Motors position. Um, it had a, quite a sharp pullback today, but it's still up uh, over two points from where we got in. And you know you have to ask the question: General Motors? I mean, in this environment, why is it? Well, it's holding well because they're still selling 16 or something like that, 60 million cars. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of cars. Oh yeah, so well, just in, in Houston alone. The car damage is ten billion. I was going to bring that in. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So you've got or you've got the potential. We don't know, but you've got the potential there at least to to buoy the uh, autos the, the auto companies here. And then what's very interesting is you if you go through the different sectors. For instance, the IB, IBB um, is holding really well. There's no other way that I can count this um, in the uh, daily chart. Then to say this is an F would be very negative, and a B in the Chapman wave is very positive. But I'm I'm just skipping the letters. I'm saying the MACD rallied very strongly. Stochastic has stabilized at 93 percent. So what I'm looking at is that within sectors and within the general market. There are enough stocks and enough sectors that are actually holding quite well. I, I, we don't have any position in the SMHs, the semis, but I'm kind of impressed that they've held quite as well as they have here above the, the nine period moving average. So we do have a position we just got. Uh, we, we had one yesterday in the IBB. Uh, we were stopped out for a very small loss. We got back in today. I, I think there's just enough room to go somewhat higher in this kind of mixed market. So that's the emphasis I've given for subscribers is that within the context of the market consolidating for well, it depends which index you're looking at but at least in the Dow it's a month now there are sectors that are doing well we saw Disney get slammed and yet you've got some of the other uh, DuPont is holding quite well in the Dow so you've got sectors that, that within sectors that are doing well trying to identify those as yet I don't feel strongly that I want to go heavily into the short side but I, I'm looking at what I call socioeconomic stocks is Ferrari made a peak D uh, we've been following this very closely it went to 118.10 its symbol is race, R-A-C-E. Yeah. Today it took a dive. It dropped 7% at a peak D, possibly a leg F in the weekly chart, and only a leg B in the monthly. So I'm trying to identify what is happening on the shorter term and the intermediate term where we're trying to position ourselves. And folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. You go to training newsletters. You see the opening call. Test drive at 30 days, absolutely free. And of course, don't forget, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Basil's got a great show. Hit it right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. Basil, have a great one and a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom, and I hope it's safe for you over the week. Thank you. Your portfolio to World of Opportunity, consider the new Market Safe Emerging Currency CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures.
This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to Restoration Hardware. So Restoration Hardware, folks, uh, closed at the $71. Uh, that little baby uh, was up $22. Uh, you talk about a number, so let's see what they had to say. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's see. So, this is quite a, this is pretty amazing, actually, what they did. So, the estimate, uh, this came out this morning, so the estimate was 47 cents, they made 65, big number. Uh, revenue estimate, uh, 606 million, they came out with 615. That is for the second quarter. For the third quarter, uh, they had an estimate of 38 cents. Now they are looking from 68 to 80. Monster move, right? Uh, for the fiscal year, their number was $2.16. Now they see 243 to 267. Uh, when you talk, um, so that's the bottom line. Top line, uh, they had seen uh, 4.2 and gross sales, 4.4 billion to 4.45. Uh, they're still at those same numbers, uh, 4.42 now to 2.42 uh, rather to 2.46. The thing that's pretty amazing about this, uh, when we take a look at this, this is this is going to be a real trip if they can turn around and basically get uh, movement uh, once again tomorrow. Uh, because what you have is that you have a 57% shot position. So that means that more than 50% of their float is in the shot position. And they don't have a lot of shares, folks, because they bought a lot of shares back. They only have uh, shares outstanding of uh, 21 million shares. That is nothing. Uh, so when we take a look at this, let's see what we have here. Put this on a 10-year. No, well, bottom line is that uh, you know when they were buying those shares back, of course they put volume in, into the move. You you went up with 81 million shares, then you did uh, 46 million. It's gonna, this thing's going to go after that $79 again. Bottom line, we'll see whether they can get it up to, into those highs. But you can uh, you can see what also happens here is this: when you have a 57% shot position, man. Bottom line, they're going to be buying. Uh, they have to be buying their stock back. Not, I'm talking about the people that are shot. 
If we go to American Outdoor Brands, uh, this closed at $16.94. This is trading right now at $14.40. And let's see what this chart looks like. So this chart's been on a one-way tear on the way down. <clears throat> yeah, this is a mess. So this looks like it's on its way down at $11. Uh, it topped out August of 2016 to $31. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Let's see what this has to say. So their estimate, um, let's see here. The estimate was 11 cents. They only come in with two, big miss. Uh, their net sales, the estimate was 146 million. They came in 129 million. Uh, that was first quarter. On the second quarter, uh, they had, uh, they're lucky the stock's not down more than this. On the uh, second quarter coming up, or that they're in rather, uh, they had an estimate of 30 cents. Now they plan on making only 7 cents to 12 cents. Uh, their, their net sales, the estimate, uh, second quarter net sales, the estimate had been 174 million. Now they're looking at 140 to 150 million. Man, 24 million miss in 90 days. Think about that. That's, that's, a, that's a big number. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, let's see, 16.94. It's trading at 14.48. And at 14.48, this has been, they've been selling the heck out of this anyway. Uh, this has been straight down. Yeah, June of this year it was at $24. Now you're talking 14. If we go back to uh, August of 2016, you're at the 31. You're going to break out the, uh, yeah, this is going to break out the lows of uh, going back uh, October of 2015 at 1638. And it's going to blow it out with volume. So this baby looks like it's on its way to $11.25. Uh, big number. No, no two ways about that. If we go over and we take a look at, um, Verifone, that closed at uh, $19.43. That is trading at $18.51. And let's see what this had to say. So they, they made their numbers. Uh, estimate was $0.36. Cents, they made $0.36. Fourth quarter, I see it's going to be light in the first, fourth quarter. Estimate was $0.46. Cents, they're looking at 43 Another equity that took a big hit out here today was Disney, folks. Disney was down 4.5%. Uh, $4.44, monster volume. If we take a look at Disney, you're going to see uh, this thing did 26 million shares, blowing away its high volume low that was laying out there at 27 million shares. We pull this back a little, uh, take a look at what we're looking at here, and Disney's going down to the lower end of its consolidation, which is uh, 90 bucks. And the whole Disney deal, now check this out, the, the market absolutely cannot stand, uh, let's see, where this came across. I say, the, what they're doing is that they are going to keep in-house the, um, let me find this for you. They're keeping in-house the, the two comic um, movies. And as soon as that come across, bottom line, market couldn't stand it. Uh, you know, the bottom line, the, here it is right here. So Marvel, Star Wars are going to be streamed exclusively on Disney's new service. That's, that's, that's a problem, child. That's a, the market's saying it's a problem, child. That's how it, go, that's how it shakes out. Um, another um, media company, Comcast, uh, what you have with Comcast out here? Comcast also took a hit out here today. Comcast was down 257. Uh, this did it, I think it did it intraday. It did. So this did it in the middle of the day, folks. Okay, Comcast uh, was trading at a price point of $40.82, and then at 11.50 uh, spiked down to $38.21 and kind of like stayed there all day. Now, what that's about, Comcast uh, came out. And I believe they said that, uh, oh, I see. Interesting, man. Okay. So I was trying to figure out why they said that they felt they were going to lose 150,000 users. This is all about uh, Harvey. This is intense. Because what happens here, of course, is that once you get rid of cable, 
it's probably a lot harder to go back to cable now because you don't have to. You know, it's, it's cutting the cord when you don't have to cut the cord to say, I should cut the cord. I've been through this. It's like, I should cut the cord. I mean, because I, I don't watch cable enough. I, between Netflix and, you know, yeah, I love Netflix. I got Amazon Prime. It's like, why am I paying for all the rest of these things? Anyway, Comcast uh, forecasts a, surpri a, a, a surprise subscriber loss um, amid the, uh, the, the, the quarter coming up. Uh, the comments uh, by Comcast executive Ma Ma Matthew Strauss sent shares uh, tumbling. Comcast said it may lose 100,000 to 100,000 video subscribers in the third quarter as rivals AT&T, Verizon, and new online distributors push discounted bundles of services. Hurricane Harvey, which hit Houston and Irma, which is expected in Florida in the coming days, will also add to Comcast dec dec decline in subscriptions this quarter, which totally makes sense. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And folks, come visit us. Uh, we are going to be doing a live workshop in Boston, September 30th. Uh, this is a, a workshop. It's sponsored by Natick, so they are picking up the tab. It's a free workshop. Uh, this workshop is going to be a starting at 7.45 in the morning, 7.45 to 8.30. You get a free continental breakfast. Uh, our man, Mr. Dan Cook from Nadex, will uh, speak for 15 minutes, 8.30 to 8.45. My son, Tommy, will go over the spreads and the binaries from uh, uh, 8.45 to 9 o'clock. Uh, I will be up there for 90 minutes, uh, 9 to 10.30. I'll be going through the art of timing the trade. We'll be talking quality volume. 
cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, testing, then a quick coffee break. Daryl Martin will come up for an additional 90 minutes. Uh, then uh, Daryl and I will be up there for another additional 45 minutes. So check it out. It's a free workshop, great workshop. we will be growling a problem with all the tigers and tigresses. Uh, you do get a copy, a signed copy of the Art of Time in the Trade uh, with the workshop. Uh, so check this out, folks. This is pretty intense. Um, we, you know, you talk about uh, cybersecurity, man. It just never stops, meaning um, nothing, uh, you know, whatever we have out there, folks, you, you got to stay on top of it all the time. Anyway, Equifax says cybersecurity incident potentially impacted 143 million customers. Uh, bottom line, folks, if you uh, have any credit, guess what? Equifax. Your stuff is there. I, I know my stuff is there. That's for sure. Uh, you know, mortgages, all of that stuff. The Equifax is one of the biggest processes of, of that information for the banks. Uh, the information accessed uh, primarily were names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and in some instances, driving license. Uh, in addition, credit card numbers for 209,000 customers. That's not that bad. Uh, to, well, it's bad if you're, 200, not, you're, you're one of them. Uh, as practice, let's see. Yeah, it's more, more so for all of us when someone gets social security numbers bad. That's the real bottom line. Uh, so what, ha what ended up happening, if we go look at Equifax, this literally just came across the tape. Equifax closed at $142. This is trading right now at $135. And if we go take a look at this, this is what's intriguing about this. The, so the press says, press release says that the access was done on July 29th. So I went back and I'm kind of looking at the, the chart here. So the 29th, if you talk about something bizarre, right, the uh, 29th must have been on a weekend because the 28th, the stock was trading at uh, almost the all-time high. The all-time high is 147. This was trading at a 145.60. It was two days after the all-time high. And uh, it, it's intriguing because I'd like to know what happened on the 27th because the 27th had a gap down. Then it makes a high with light volume. And if we do pull this back right now, uh, what you're going to see, which is still sticking out like a sore thumb, is the 132 area. And I believe it's trading. It's trading at 135 right now. Um, so we'll see where uh, that baby wants to get down to. But uh, needless to say, it seems that uh, hackers are getting everywhere. Get, not only getting everywhere, they're getting in everywhere, all of the, all of the above. Uh, if we go back to uh, Irma for a second, this storm, folks, uh, is, is a tough one. And uh, Miami, uh, bottom line, that right, right at this particular point, it looks like it's a barreling right into Miami. And uh, Miami is, uh, as we're talking right now, uh, is basically getting in, shutting down that city. And uh, with good cause, too, because the bottom line is that if this thing doesn't turn a bit, um, they are going to basically take a pretty good hit, uh, a real good hit. What ha what, what's still on the table here, though, this is, what, this is what's going on, um, is that uh, Hurricane Irma continued on a collision course with Miami after uh, battering Puerto Rico and devastating a, channel, a chain of Caribbean islands. Now... Um, the life-threatening storm is heading for a direct hit uh, on, Flo on Florida Sunday, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center. That prospect has roiled markets, uh, everything from orange juice to natural gas. Um, the southeast coast of Florida, including Miami, would be expecting potentially catastrophic storm surges Saturday night and Sunday. The storm surge, well, the wind, no doubt, takes down the buildings, takes out the, you know, the, the infrastructure. The storm surge, folks, uh, is what can really do the damage and do it like within, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the way that they're talking about uh, the this, this surge, we'll see uh, whether it's a 10-foot surge, something higher, you know, thus far in the Caribbean, the type of surge that they were talking about um, was over 20 feet high, okay? That, that takes down anything. If you've ever been in Miami, uh, Miami, folks, basically is underwater many times just with full moons. There's plenty of streets down there that, bottom line, they're already underwater. So a surge itself is going to be pretty intense. 
Yeah. Insurers, yeah, they're, they're going to take a beating uh, in, a, in a huge way. You had uh, XL, let's see, XL Group was down 6% today. Everest was uh, down 76 And we'll see, uh, you, know, you know, hopefully uh, nothing can just move about 20 or 30 miles. Uh, that's, that's what we'll be looking for. Yeah, let's go take a look at Berkshire Hathaway, because Berkshire Hathaway uh, has been one of the biggest reinsurers out there. Yeah, it's down 280. That's still not much for, well, I guess it's off the highs, of, you know, off the high of 181. That's not down that much for the context of uh, what we could see actually happen out there, though. There's, there's no doubt about that, because uh, that, that storm right now, it is a monster. And uh, if I put, let me go get this up for a second for you so you can see this. If we go to the hurricane and you actually look at it, the, the cool thing here, if you're watching Tiger TV, if you go to the NOAA site, the NOAA site is phenomenal. Well, particularly if you've been watching it for a while, the, it's been moving to the right. And it, you're still 48, let's see. No, you, yeah, well, you, you're 20, you're about 48 hours away from. They're, they're saying Sunday at 8 a.m. So uh, what's that? That's that's not 48 hours. That's uh, that's about 40 hours, right? Yeah, it's about 40 hours away. Um, so, they, so they're going to get hit. That's the bottom line. The real question is going to be, do they take a direct hit? And this is how this is this is how crucial it is that the storm moves like only 20 miles, because if it moves just 20 miles to the right what would happen is that it wouldn't be a direct hit, it would be out in the water. Now the wind, no doubt, it would give them a beating, and there's a, basically a, the thought process that because it's out in that water, that what would happen and does happen is that the, it would stay stronger for a longer period of time. But I can tell you, if I was on that coast, I'd want it out in the water. I don't, couldn't care if it was another mile, because there's, there's a huge difference between a direct hit and something that, you know, and the, the difference would be 110 mile an hour winds versus 75 mile an hour winds. And you guess what? When my son and I, we were in Katrina, and the difference is dramatic. And, and it's not that we saw the winds in Katrina because we were inside a, a kind of a, a cement hall inside a hotel, but you could hear the destruction and you could hear the, the railroad trains coming in. And it wasn't a railroad train, folks. It was the wind. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And, uh, you know, I always say whatever you think about, you bring about. Well, guess what, folks? For all those folks down in, the, you know, South Florida, let's start thinking that push that storm out 20, 20 miles. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects.
David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And, uh, you know, it, it's, so Irma skirted north of the major islands of uh, Puerto Rico and the Dominican uh, the, uh, Republic, which is really cool for both of those islands down there, folks. Uh, what the headline of this was is that if the hurricane uh, didn't get to the insurance companies, a will, because the, uh, the, the uh, you can see the tourist resorts, um, in the Caribbean, probably in, in Florida also, uh, they're expecting that uh, the increase in insurance rates will go up 15 to 20 percent. And uh, I actually remember that when, when, we, when we start looking at the Katrina, when Katrina hit, what, what ended up happening is that the insurance companies, they went down for about uh, all of TVR, they went down, TRV, they, they went down for about a week and then they went one way and that one way was up because what ends up happening is that they could prove um, yeah this travel is okay they could prove that the bottom line uh, the, the risk profile uh, has got has got higher and they gotta they gotta put uh, you know major major dollars out you know so if you do take a look at this you're gonna see travels is on a one-way trip in 2008 it's at 28 dollars you're at 115 you've come down from 130 uh, we'll see whether it wants, where it's going to try to settle down. Um, but what you, what you do have out here is that uh, this is going to be the news all weekend long. And hopefully, uh, after reading, I like the idea of how it, Puerto Rico and the Dominican, it that was supposed to get wiped out. They, it was coming right up into them. And guess what? Just bared to the right just a bit. But that bit was enough because what you had is that that wall, the eye wall is 50 miles. Uh, the hurricane strength is 100. Now, 100 is a lot, but it's not that much either. You know, when, when you're talking about 100 miles, you know, it can, it can get smaller. You stay right there, folks. A man, Mr. Andy Heck, is coming up next. And come visit us in Boston, uh, September 20th. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking to you right back here, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Wow! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. 
When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.